Here we consider three problems. Example number 11, 12 and 13. Three problems. I keep this list of standard formula for your reference. So as you keep looking at that, this formula gets into your memory quickly and easily. Okay. Anyway, if you look at these problems, there is no trigonometric function appearing. So we are not going to use any of these trigonometric related formula. But you have a numerator and denominator. Numerator and denominator. So whenever you have numerator and denominator in the given problem, it is better to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay? This is x square plus 5x square. This is not x square, make it x cube because x square term is already there. Okay. Uh, let me call this problem as i. It is customary to call the given function before integrating. It's better to call them as call the function as i it means the given integral and write it as x cube plus 5x square minus 4 divided by x square dx in the given manner. That is i equals now you start separating each term. So divide x cube by x square, 5x square by x square and 4 by x square. And this is integral. x cube by x square is x. x cube divided by x square is x plus 5x square by x square is 5 minus 4 by x square is 4 into x to the power of minus 2. This is what is happening after you divide. How did you get x to the power of minus 2? Because 4 by x square is 4 times of x to the power of minus 2, shifting x square from denominator to the numerator. Now this is integral x dx plus integral 5 is constant, write it outside. 5 into dx is integral dx minus 4 into integral x to the power of minus 2 dx. Now we will integrate. Integration of x dx, x to the power of 1 plus 1, that is 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2 plus 5 times of what is integration of dx? Integral dx is x minus 4 into x to the power of minus 2 plus 1. That is x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus c the constant of integration. So i equals x square by 2 plus 5x. Now here minus 4 into x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c. If you want you can simplify this further. i equals x square by 2 plus 5x minus over minus is plus, minus divided by minus is plus, 4 into x to the power of minus 1 is 1 by x, so you take it to the denominator plus c. Anyway, even if you leave at this stage, no problem, you will be given full marks because you are doing a problem on integration. Simplification to the last step sometimes need not required until and unless you don't worry too much about the simplification part. You just integrate the given function properly by using the respective formula. Okay. Well, as usual, let's call the given function as i. i equals integral x cube plus 3x plus 4 divided by root x dx. Let i be equal to integral x cube plus 3x plus 4 by root x. Now, just look at the board here x cube divided by root x is the first split fraction and this is nothing but x cube divided by x to the power of half you know that root x is nothing but x to the power of half so now if you subtract like this it is x cube by x to the power of half root x is x to the power of half so if you simplify this this is 3 minus half 3 minus half because you are aware of the fact that a to the power of m by a to the power of n is a to the power of m minus n. Then the bases are same. Here the bases are same. x. 
only the powers are different. M is 3 and N is half. So you write it as M minus N. So it is 3 minus half. That is X to the power of 3 minus half is 2 and a half. 2 and a half. That is X to the power of 5 by 2 this. 2 and a half is 5 by 2. So I am using that simplification here. Uh, let me just clear this. Yeah. Uh, so this becomes I equals integral x to the power of uh, uh, I write it separately like, like this x to the power of half dx plus 3 times of integral x by x to the power of half dx plus 4 is constant keep it outside integral and you have uh, 1 by root x dx now when I take 4 outside what remains here there is 1 that numerator 1 I have written so i is equal to integral this is uh, 3 minus half 2 and a half that is x to the power of 5 by 2 dx plus 3 into integral see there is power is 1 1 minus half is half this is x to the power of half dx plus 4 into x to the power of minus half dx you know why because root x is x to the power of half when it goes to the numerator it becomes minus half now you integrate this is i equals x to the power of 5 by 2 plus 1 divided by 5 by 2 plus 1 plus 3 times of x to the power of half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 plus 4 times of x to the power of minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 ok so i equals x to the power of 7 by 2 you know 5 by 2 plus 1 is 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 plus 3 times of x to the power of 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 plus x to the power of minus half plus 1 so 1 minus half is half divided by half plus c the plus c is the constant of the integration so what have we done in this problem if the denominator has a root sign, root means power half. So you just have to take the value of the denominator as x to the power of half and use the laws of vertices. You, you will get when simplified. This will, this will become 3 minus half, that is 2 and half, that is 5 by 2. And this is uh, uh, half and this is minus half. And you will get the answer of the integration. Okay. Okay, now I think I will clear the solution to both these problems. And now we will take up the last problem. Okay. So the first thing is to call let i be equal to integral x cube minus x square plus x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 dx. If you had observed these two other two problems, previous two problems, the denominator was a monomial. That means only x was present. Here it is binomial x minus 1. Okay, so splitting and division is not possible. But what can you do now? In that case, you have to look into some kind of simplification which is made ready in the problem itself. Uh, here if you observe, from the first two terms you can take x square as common factor. Then you have x minus 1 inside bracket from these two terms. From the first two terms take x square as the common factor. Plus, from the next two terms, 1 is the common factor. So, I have just put 1 here. Divided by x minus 1 dx. Okay. Now you will easily come to know that you can split it now. x square into x minus 1 by x minus 1. x square into x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 dx as 1 integral plus integral 1 into x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 as this n integral. So I have just split it. And you also cancel this x minus 1 here and here. And write out the remaining terms. This is integral x square dx 
plus integral 1 dx. So i equals x to the power of 3 by 3 integration of x square x to the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral 1 dx is x plus the constant of integration. So if you have a binomial term in the denominator you just have to look into some common factors availability in the numerator and then cancel and then do the process of integration. 